Restoration. Restoration is brought to you by Pisces. Everyday Pisces for everyday people. Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad for extra comfort. We got Yaz Protection. Capsuling. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use tasty tom and rich tomato mix. For naturally whiter tea, Pepsod and charcoal. It is my pleasure to come your way one more time, and I hope you all had a very fantastic week. This is Restoration with Stacey. We're brought to you by Kind Ketsi Hisense, everyday prizes for everyday people. Yas Washington Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad, La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. Hooch corn and choco flakes, my crunchiest breakfast choice. And of course, my glam team, ABS Lux line for my beautiful outfit, beauty artistry, and hair duties for my hair. I'd like to say a very big thank you to Malta Guinness as well. We'll be right back after this break. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix. Oh, fuck a car. Now you're a baby. Fuck a car, young quiny stew. The door open. Tasty Tom, dear. It will surely give you value for money. The steak and little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix, isn't it? Me ha writing. And it's a sada. Then I need to know if you're sad, dear. Into customers, bar never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and rich tomato mix. This advert is FDA approved. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sandwich took the worry away. Easy. The new Yas extra long sanitary pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. Don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident. Stay fresh. Hi. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got. Yes. We got yes protection. I got. Yes, extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like in the me. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? As their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook, I can paint. You like no other. In the me, in the me, you like no other. So every day, in whatever you do, remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introduce it. Indomie beef flavor. Bye now. This effort is FDA approved. I love person and charcoal. Why? When there are so many other charcoal toothpaste. That's both charcoal and lemon. Oh, does it? Yes. Look right here. Yes. 
Pepsin and charcoal has two of nature's powerful whitening ingredients. With the power of activated charcoal and lemon essence, it removes stains and whitens teeth naturally. Convinced? Well, I am. Just look at your beautiful Pepsin smells. <laughs> For naturally whiter teeth, Pepsin and charcoal. Wait, your tomato mix. Would you swap one on pass? Still loud, but the tomato flavor no. No color changing like traffic lights. The beer, cocoa, come on. Taste it, Tom dear. It will surely give you value for money. This day, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. Taste not so dear. On point, flavor new. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. This advert is FDA approved. Ow. Let me see. She's never had a toothache before. Hmm. There might be a cavity. Don't you use Pepsodent? We used to, but I'll try the new one. Ah, that's why. But doesn't every toothpaste give cavity protection? Not really. Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter repairs tiny invisible holes to give 10 times stronger teeth. Will you trust Pepsodent? Definitely. Pepsodent. 10 times stronger teeth. <laughs> Use Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? As well as their own unique talents no and abilities. Other. I can cook. So every day in whatever you do, Remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introduce it. Indomie beef flavor. Bye now. This effort is FDA approved. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix. Oh, fuck a car. Now nah, you be brave. Fuck a car, you and quiet is stew. The door open. Tasty Tom, dear. It will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix in tea. Me ha writin and sisada. Then I need any via sanet here. Into customers bar never. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. This advert is FDA approved. Restoration. Welcome back. And today we'll be talking health. And talking health. It means we have to be very careful what we put in our system because our bodies are no trash cans. That is why I keep telling you to always make sure that you are refreshing yourself with Malta Guinness. Yes, this is my Malta Guinness Jack Jack can. Yes, it is our sleek can. And the good news is it's just the same as the old can. The volume is the same. The taste is the same. And you know what is much more exciting? The price is still the same. Just that this is actually sleek and it can fit into whatever bag you're carrying around town. You also have to remember that Malta Guinness is rich in vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5, and B6. And it comes to you with a lot of carbohydrates and energy. So go out there and grab your Malta Guinness. Yes, and as I was telling you all the goodies about Malta Guinness, my guest kept nodding. Yes, because he knows about vitamins, he knows about energy, he knows about carbohydrates. Today on Restoration, we're going to be talking about an autoimmune disease that affects women. And I know that most women feel, oh me, I'm okay. Oh me, I'm fine. Women, we have to be on the lookout because sometimes some of these things can creep up on us. Today, we'll be talking about lupus with my very good friend, Dr. Bena Tete, and he is a physician specialist with um, the Department of Internal Medicine at the Kolibu teaching hospital hi doc how are hi. you hi, why are you nodding it's oh, not like i don't like olibu i like olibu because you're my friend <laughs> how are you 
I'm doing well. And I'm you like Malta Guinness, don't I, you? I do. How long have you been taking Malta Guinness? As long as I can remember. As long as you can yes. remember. Okay, so you are a doctor. Yes. So I know people would believe you when you say it. You know the taste of Malta Guinness. I do. Okay, so let's try Akan and tell my viewers if the taste is the same oh, or not. Okay. okay. Still the same. Hasn't Still changed. the same. Hasn't, hasn't changed. changed. No. Okay, you heard it. So you've heard it from the pastors. You've heard it from the celebrities. You've heard it from a doctor. And this is rich in vitamins B1, B2, B3, B5, and B6. So it's very nutritious, isn't it? And filling as well. Thank you. You see, so me, I don't lie you. <laughs> when I tell you it's filling, you think I'm just hyping. The doctor just said it. Doc, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you. We thank you. Can you speak up a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing very well. Great. So you are a man, and I'm just excited that you're talking to us about lupus. When we say lupus, what is lupus? So um, lupus is actually the short form um, for an autoimmune condition. So it has a long um, name. So we call it systemic lupus erythematosus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we say SLE for short, or sometimes we say lupus. Okay. So it's an autoimmune condition. By autoimmune, I mean that um, it's a condition where your immunity is fighting against yourself, your own body. So ideally, the immune system is supposed to protect you against um, infections. Okay. So germs, bacteria, viruses. Okay. But there comes a time where the immune system gets confused. And what happens is that it starts fighting your own self, okay? And that's what we say, autoimmunity. So auto means self. Immunity has to do with the immune system. So that confusion sets in, and then now the body starts um, attacking itself by way of using the antibodies, which are supposed to be protective, okay? So lupus is an autoimmune condition. Um, it's a chronic condition, and it's multi-systemic in the sense that it affects every part of the body, okay? From the brain, lungs, kidneys, the skin, the eyes everywhere it goes everywhere okay and it typically affects and um, like you said it affects females um, more and the other thing is that it can affect males as well but the ratio is typically in the, um, in the range of nine is to one mm -hmm. so if you Which take it uh, not on a low so it's on the low for males for, that's, men, for yeah. men that's that's um, that's the one but for females it's very high okay some texts or literature puts that even as 11 is to one so it's more common in females now the thing with the lupus is that it's, it's a, a very debilitating condition that if it's not managed properly, it can affect the quality of life of the individual that's affected, okay? And in the long run, it leads to loss of productivity for the individual, loss of productivity um, for the family and even for the nation at large because you lose people in their prime years mm -hmm. who are not able to work to support themselves, their family. Okay, and that's what happens with um, this condition. So how can one have lupus? Okay, so it has to do with the immune system. So there are, currently the cause is unknown, but there are lots of theories out there that um, suggest one or two things that may account for it. So like I said, so the immune system is supposed to fight against infection. So sometimes some people can develop an infection. It could be a viral infection following which you develop um, Antibodies. So the antibodies are supposed to fight the infection for you. Okay. By so doing, it starts fighting the infection, but at some point in time, like I said, it gets confused. There's some dysregulation in the immune system, and then the antibodies now go haywire, and then they start affecting or attacking the body. Okay. There are other things or other um, triggers. So there are genetic components. Before I go to the triggers, genetic mm -hmm. components where people may have um, the antibodies in them inherently, even years before. They actually develop the condition, okay? And then the genetics involved. So um, a woman can have the autoimmune condition and pass on the genes to her offspring. And then there's a tenfold, sometimes up to a 30 fold increase in your offspring actually developing um, lupus as well, or even another autoimmune condition, not necessarily lupus, okay? Now, like I said, there are triggers. So there are certain things that can trigger you into getting lupus, so provided, you, provided you have the um, genetic susceptibility. Okay, an example is our sun. The sun in itself is a serious trigger. Okay, so some people can develop a rash, a photosensitive rash, as a result of the sun that is um, just scorching our skin. Yeah. Okay, so they, they can develop um, um, lupus or a skin manifestation from that. People that smoke, it can actually cause a flare 
or it can cause a worsening of your lupus if you have it. And then, like I mentioned, the infections um, as well also play a role in that regard. Now, talking about the sun, <clears throat> that's scary because yeah. we are always in the sun. Uh, yes. How can we protect ourselves okay. to prevent such a condition? Yeah, so that's a, a good question. So what happens is that we use certain protective mechanisms, okay? So certain protective things. An example is your, um, a sunscreen. Okay, okay sunscreen, um, typically what happens is that there's this thing in the sunscreen we call the sun protection factor. Okay, and typically we're looking for anything above 30%. Okay, and then we apply it on our skin before we go into the sun. So it gives us some protection from the sun. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes covering up as well. So if you can wear um, a hat or a bonnet or something or cover up fully as well, where your skin isn't exposed to the, skin, um, to the sun, mm -hmm. will give you some protection against um, the sun causing a flare or a worsening of your lupus if you do have it. What, what are some of the symptoms? So symptoms, they can come with certain, um, certain constitutional symptoms. So sometimes... The plain fatigue, people get up and they say, oh, I'm tired. Some come up and go like, oh, I have, I've been having a fever. I don't feel well, okay? Some of them will come with joint pains. Um, and the joint pains, typically, everybody can get joint pains from other conditions. But when you start getting joint pains that has progressed or has been there for a long time, typically more than six weeks, you start to think that there's possibility of, um, there's a possibility that something is wrong. Because even plain old malaria can give you joint pains. If you get um, a viral infection, a common cold, you can get joint pains. And once it progresses beyond that um, six week mark, you need to start um, thinking that there could be something more oh. in there, okay? And so the joint pains, they, can, they typically, get, typically get joint pains in the small joints of the hands, okay? So the knuckle area, um, the wrist, they can get around the thumb um, parts here. Sometimes the elbows are also involved, okay? It's the shoulders, the knees. The knees. Okay, and it's usually bilateral and it's symmetric. That means it affects both at the same time. But there are a few occasions where it's just sometimes a single mm -hmm. joint is affected. And then they come with a skin rash. So the skin rash that um, is typical for um, lupus is that they get this rash over the cheekbones, okay? This side, okay? okay. We call it a butterfly rash or a mala rash. So this area is called the mala area. Okay, so they develop a rash in that area um, as a result of the sun exposure. So they have a photosensitive rash. So the rash is on that. It looks Mala. like a mask. It looks, yeah, it looks not a mask. It looks like a butterfly, the wings butterfly. of a butterfly. Yes. So they have the butterfly mask. Yes. So okay. I haven't, something seen, like I, that. I haven't seen one. Okay. I'd, I'd like to see one <laughs> later. I'll show you one. Great. So they develop a, a butterfly rash over their mm -hmm. cheekbones. Okay. That is very classic for that. And they can develop um, rashes in other parts of um, their the bodies. bodies as well. And usually it's in the photosensitive areas. So those are the sun exposed areas. Okay, so you can get it on the extensor or on the areas that are exposed to the sun. Okay, sometimes on the face and other parts of the body. Now, they can also develop, um, so once it affects um, other organs, so like the brain example, let's take the brain. So sometimes it can get depression as a presentation some can present with seizures, that's convulsions. Others can present with um, confusion, sometimes brain fog, where they can't concentrate, mm -hmm. okay? Some can even present with um, psychosis, where they have abnormal behaviors, okay? Um, so what of insomnia? Insomnia, um, it, they, they can have insomnia as well, but it's not a classic um, presentation in these patients. Also, they can come with difficulty breathing if it affects their lungs. Um, they can come with fluid, in the lungs as well, which will lead to difficulty breathing. Some of them can come with weight gain, weight loss. They can come with symptoms of anemia, where they have mm. um, dizziness. They can have their heart beating abnormally fast. When they walk a little, they get tired, okay? Some can come with swelling of the legs when it affects the kidneys. And then when they pass urine, they have this foamy urine. That means you're leaking proteins. The kidney is not functioning well, so you're leaking proteins into your urine. So the urine becomes foamy, okay? Um, so there are lots of, um, a myriad of presentations depending on where and um, which parts of the body it's affecting. But this is typically um, some of the few manifestations of lupus and how it presents. Who is at risk and what age range are we looking at? Yeah. So likely affected. Everybody is at risk. But um, like I said, majority of the people at risk are women. In the, and it's typically in the reproductive age group. So you're looking at people within the ages of 16 
um, to like about 45, thereabouts, okay? And even with that, I must say that you can have children presenting with lupus, okay? Um, the youngest person I've seen with lupus was um, aged um, one year, two months. No way. Yes. Um, and he was actually a boy. So you can imagine, he's young at that age and he's a male as well. And I said that it's very rare in, um, in males, but they yeah. can have it. Um, yes, so they can happen in children, it can even happen in babies. But typically in the babies, we call it neonatal lupus because um, it's less than um, four weeks following birth. And, but these are seen in um, babies whose mothers have um, lupus. Okay, because they pass on some of the antibodies to the kids, and that and it presents with um, the symptoms of lupus. Typically, they can come with a low heart rate, and sometimes they can develop their skin rash as well. Okay. What are some of the things that can be done to prevent lupus? Okay, so preventing lupus, um, I mean, living a healthy lifestyle is important, and um, avoiding the triggers, like I said. Okay, so don't smoke. Um, take care of yourself, um, eat a balanced diet. So eat medic um, foods that decrease inflammation. Okay, so your flax seeds and um, foods that are rich in omega-3 um, fatty acids, those are very important. So once you're doing these things, but the thing is that you can't actually say you want to prevent it because the thing is that if you have the antibodies, you have the susceptibility, you can have an infection and that can trigger it. Everybody gets an infection, but you don't know what will happen that will lead you to developing it, okay? But I must mention that lupus is manageable. There's no cure as of now. My research is still ongoing to find um, a cure to the condition. But what we do is that we manage um, the condition and we manage um, what the patient presents with depending on what they come with. So we tend to categorize them as mild, moderate or severe lupus. And depending on the category under which you fall, the management is different, okay? Um, in managing them, um, so there are certain baseline medications that we put the uh, patients on. So um, some patients are put on um, steroids, um, baseline, um, others are put on um, chloroquine tablets, so hydroxychloroquine. Um, I'm sure you've heard about this in the era of COVID when it was yeah. at its peak. It was one of the drugs that they were purposing that could um, cure COVID. Um, then the sunscreen is also very important. Like I said, it's, um, the sun is a big trigger. So patients are advised to use a sunscreen anytime they're going to step out into the sun, okay? Now, and then you can use analgesics. So typically your um, anti-inflammatory um, analgesics is very important for those who have the joints and pains as well. And then you can use some um, topical creams if you have um, the skin manifestations as well. Now, when it comes to the moderate um, disease, there are other medications that are higher than what I have mentioned that we tend to put the patients on. Then when it comes to the severe disease, severe, you're looking at involvement of the brain, involvement of the kidneys, okay? If you have um, bleeding into your lungs, okay? Those are severe diseases, so or severe manifestations. So that one tends to use significant um, or potent immunosuppressive medications that tends to suppress the immunity because it's the antibodies that are causing the problem. So you want to suppress it and bring their activity down to prevent them from causing damage, okay? Now, there are quite um, a number of medications that we use and some of them are pretty expensive um, for our patients. Um, um, an example is uh, one of the drugs um, we use, um, it costs about 2,500 cities for a month a month. A month supplies about 2,500 cities. Then there's other higher medications, what we call biologics. So these are um, genetically or chemically modified medications um, that tend to help in suppressing the immunity. So some of these medications can cost, depending on the cycle, at a point in time, it was costing about 14,000 cities a vial. Okay? And you need um, the first dose. Two weeks later, you need another dose. So that's like at that time, about 28,000 cities. Um, I think recently the price has been um, brought down um, significantly. So I think about between seven and 10,000 a vow. Okay, uh -huh. yeah. So um, autoimmune conditions, managing it can be pretty expensive. Not to mention that you need to do labs 
on a regular to make sure that you're not getting the side effects from the medications. Mm. You're not getting the complications from the disease in terms that can affect some of the, um, the labs of the patient. So we need to monitor them constantly. So you have these patients doing labs on a regular basis. And that can take a significant toll on the patients mm -hmm. um, financially as well as their relatives um, also. Wow, that's pretty deep. <laughs> we can just be thankful to God for good health sometimes. We'll be right back after this break. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix. Oh, fuck a cra. Now you be brave. Fuck a cra, young quiny stew. Do do a open. Tasty Tom, dear. It will surely give you value for money. The steak, a little is enough to get our desired quantity of stew and soup. And it doesn't color your meat or chicken. Tasty Tom Tomato Mix, in tea. Me ha writing, and si sada. Se na ne de ne bia sa ne de. Inti customers ba ne ba. I don't compromise on the quality of my food. Use Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. Fuck a cra, ya be brave. This advert is FDA approved. I love person and charcoal. Why? When there are so many other charcoal toothpaste. That's both charcoal and lemon. Oh, does it? Yes. Look right here. Yes. Pepsodent and charcoal has two of nature's powerful whitening ingredients. With a power of activated charcoal and lemon essence, it removes stains and whitens teeth naturally. Convinced? Well, I am. Just look at your beautiful Pepsodent smells. <laughs> For naturally whiter teeth, Pepsodent charcoal. Remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sandwich took the worry away. Easy. Yas comfort, I got Yas confidence. The new Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. But don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident. Stay fresh. Hi. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got Yes. We got Yaz protection. I got Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad for extra comfort. We got Yaz Protection! Ow! Let me see. She's never had a toothache before. Hmm. There might be a cavity. Don't you use Pepsodent? We used to, but I'll try the new one. Ah, that's why. But doesn't every toothpaste give cavity protection? Not really. Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter repairs tiny invisible holes to give 10 times stronger teeth. Will you trust Pepsodent? Definitely! Pepsodent! Ten times stronger teeth! <laughs> Use Pepsodent's Cavity Fighter. Every child is so unique. You like no other. Outstanding in every way. It's me like no other. So anytime you walk and play. You like no other. You are special like Indomie. It's me like no other. Did you know that every child on the planet has their own unique fingerprint like no other? As well as their own unique talents and abilities. I can cook. So every day in whatever you do, 
Remember you are special in your own way, like no other. Thank you, Mom, for letting me know I'm special and for making me my special Indomie. Thank you, Mommy. Introduce it. Indomie Beef Flavor. Bye now. This advert is FDA approved. Super crazy giveaway moment, and we are live from the Mensha Palace. And I have a winner with me today. What do you have to say? Yeah, for us, this is Amili. Me three has two phone. I say, and then our phone say, phone. I never find out who my was at and what you say. No, I do any so. Yeah, that's a pie. Nay, a buyer. Or drama done a betray into nearby. Must support the restoration, must support the Stacey all these years. And see any high sense for Abba ever can say get damas, said Danny Dama support you. Into four and I say no, it should be a matter. Daisu, Daisu, high sense, and see a bear who high sense, and see a bear who fool. Now for now, say no, to change, now you should be why. Papa, I didn't all catch your high sense. Damas, and I miss from next time. I was here, baby. Maybe our next time now in a fridge or an asset TV. So, would you do? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Why? Well, this is our winner for this week. Next week, we'll come your way with another winner. Restoration. Welcome back, and that is our winner for this week's High Sun Super Crazy Giveaway Moment. Very soon, Dr. Tete will get to pick a card and we'll see what he will take to Kolebu. I take it to call you boy, you're taking it home. Home. <laughs> Why did you say home? At least, sharing is caring. No, but I'm, I'm close from work, so I'm oh, going so home. This are, so if you were going to work, you'd have taken it to work? There's a possibility. Okay. No comments. Doc, I mean, I've, I'm just trying to ease the whole atmosphere, but listen to everything you've said. It's pretty scary. And for Ghana, looking at the amount you're calling for medication and all of that, how can an average Ghanaian be able to afford this? Are there interventions? Yeah, so um, like you said, it's difficult. And the, <clears throat> the price I've mentioned is, is quite hefty. Mm -hmm. um, the thing I've also mentioned is that sometimes these patients can come in with emergencies and they need life-saving medications. Um, that has to bring down their inflammation acutely. Okay. okay, and that medication, the last time I checked, it was about 900 cities for a bottle. And you need about for three days. So that comes about 2,700 cities for just three days. Now, um, the thing is, uh, um, there's a, um, an advocacy group or a patient support group that was founded a couple of years ago. And it's called the Rheumatology Initiative, okay? TRI for short, or TRI, TRI Ghana for short. So this um, initiative or group is a patient advocacy group that helps um, patients with purchasing their medications and getting them emergency medications or doing emergency labs and supporting them. There's also a group that organizes monthly meetings for patients and um, educates them on their disease conditions, 
what to look out for, what to do when they have a flare, mm -hmm. and how to actually improve the quality of their life, their lives. So it also teaches them coping mechanisms as well. So the Rheumatology Initiative is, I should say, is one of the, um, the organizations that aids the patients in, um, in helping them to take care of themselves, um, both financially and um, emotionally as well. Okay, it's a holistic um, group. Um, May, um, the month of May is the um, Lupus Awareness Month. And the Lupus Day is actually on the 10th of May um, every year. And this year, the theme that we are looking at is um, giving back by moving forward, a penny for lupus. So that is the theme for um, this year. Um, there are a few things that we've um, spearheaded for the month of May that we are going to be doing. We'll be doing um, an outreach to St. Mary's School, where we'll speak to the girls in the school and give them awareness of our lupus. Um, we also go to certain um, churches and other organizations and give them talks on um, lupus and an awareness of their disease condition. Um, we're also decorating the third floor of the, um, the hospital, Kalu Teaching Hospital, the med medical block third floor, which is where the rheumatology unit is um, located. Um, and I also want to appeal to um, well-wishers that they can be patrons of um, the rheumatology initiative and try and help or support these patients that um, we are trying to save um, their lives because um, managing them is very difficult um, in terms of trying to get funds to do the investigations and get the medications um, for them. So if we're able to get people that will support us um, in terms of, in any way, be it financially or by availing yourself, it will be very beneficial um, to us. I, I just want to find out, it, it looks like everything is Accra-centered. What if we have someone with a condition in Tamale, in Nkransa, Techiman, um, Konongo, how do you get through to these people? Okay, so I must mention that, yes, the number of rheumatologists in the country is, um, I know a lot, um, currently there are about three um, adult rheumatologists. Mm -hmm. One is in Kumasi, um, two in Accra, and we have one um, pediatric rheumatologist for the children. Um, she's in Tamale. So what, what it is is that we, um, if up north, the doctor or the rheumatologist in Kumasi can actually help in that regard. Mm -hmm. And there's also um, a telecommunication app or sort of thing that we've developed. It's called the room chat, where patients can actually put in their symptoms and get um, feedback. Okay, and we've also organized certain um, training sessions for doctors in um, the other parts of the country to be able to recognize these conditions and provide the necessary first aid, following which they can send them over and then we can continue the management from there. So these are some of the things that we are doing to try and um, improve or increase the, um, the way of getting in touch with um, rheumatologists. And, um, the numbers are available to actually get in touch with a rheumatologist, to actually have a consult with a person to help um, in that regard. Um, I must say that the numbers are few, but there are few people in training to become rheumatologists. Mm. Okay. Um, I, I just want to know, can you have lupus and have a normal life? Yes. So there are quite a, a number of people who have lupus and are living um, a normal life. Um, and actually a fulfilling life. Occasionally they get the joint pains here okay. and there, but sometimes some of them actually don't have any joint symptoms at all. Symptoms at all. Uh -huh. And we call that remission. Okay. Remission is when the disease is quiet. Okay. Your labs are fine, you have no symptoms, you okay. are living a normal life, okay? And we that is what we want to, or that is where we want to get our patients to, either to a state of remission or a state of very low um, disease activity where they're able to live a normal um, life with devoid of any um, pain or side effects from um, their medications or complications from their disease. Yeah, so there are people that are there that live in um, a healthy, normal life. If situations are taken for granted, is it likely that one could be lost from the bus? Yes. So if the disease is not managed well or the patients tend to, we call it default, okay. where they stop taking their medications, they stop coming for reviews, um, they can get 
a trigger that will lead to a flare of the disease condition. And that can be very um, devastating or very severe. And that can lead to loss of life. Mm-hmm. And especially if you have involvement of these major organs that I'm talking about, the brain or the kidneys or the heart, you can have um, significant um, mortality with um, lupus if it's not managed well. I'm, I'm curious about the brain. If lupus affects someone's brain, what are we looking at seeing? Okay. So, like I said, the manifestations in the brain are a lot. You can have um, depression. Okay. You can have lupus headaches, where they, all they have is headaches. You can have de- um, psychosis, where they have abnormal behavior. Mm-hmm. Some can have seizures. Okay. okay? That's convulsions. Um, some can have inflammation of the vessels in the brain. Can even present with strokes, either bleeds in the brain or um, a part of the brain dying off. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there are lots of um, manifestations when it affects the, the brain. Wow. Now, with the kids, especially, you know, kids go to school and sometimes they get to mingle with people. Should we be concerned if a child has lupus? Should, I mean, we should be concerned if a child has lupus because um, their quality of life can be affected in the sense that kids are active. They want to play. They want to mingle with their friends. They want to be around their friends and play. But if you have a kid who has lupus and has significant um, joint involvement, they may not be able to play because they're getting the pain. Mm-hmm. Okay, So that can affect their quality of life. Mm-hmm. If they have um, involvement of their skin, and sometimes they can have these disfiguring skin rashes, um, they can become... Um, a laughing stop by their yeah, mates because kids mates. can be some kids can be mean yeah. and they can bully their um, colleagues just because of a skin rash that has affected their face or their skin so it can have significant impacts on the quality of life of the kids so I mean um, we actually employ um, employ the services of clinical psychologists to help um, in retraining their minds yeah, and right. helping them to deal with the condition um, as well. But once someone has a lupus diagnosis, does it affect them with what they can eat, what they cannot eat? Are there any do's and don'ts? Yes. So um, there are certain medica- there are certain meals or foods that are um, that can trigger inflammation. Mm-hmm. Okay. So like I said, so the omega three um, fatty acid containing foods are good. They help to decrease inflammation. So your flax seeds. Mm-hmm. Um, your um, your nuts, okay? So your nuts are very important. So they, those ones help to decrease inflammation. There's some meals that will increase inflammation. So a high salt diet, your um, meats, and red meats and stuff, all those so things. That's, let, let's take it slowly. So high salt diet yes. is a no-no. Yes, no-no. So you want to, because high salt diet in itself can lead to other, other conditions as well. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. The um, next one. So you're talking about your um, meats, meat, the red meats red and things meats. like that. Okay. Um, so it's best to stick to your fish. Yes. Yeah, so your fish, your vegetables, okay. your nuts, your seeds, so your flax seeds, mm-hmm. your chia seeds. Mm-hmm. Those ones help to decrease um, inflammation. Okay. And even in some um, places they talk about ginger having some um, inflammatory properties mm-hmm. in some um, literature as well. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So the, the thing is that it's it's a lot. The studies are still ongoing. So we actually liaise with the dietitians as well to help us in that. Um, and, I, and I believe that just like any condition, every individual d- is different from it's the different. other. different, exactly. Yes. Yeah, because I mean, what might work for me might, might not, not work, work for, for the you. other, yes. Yeah, so right. I'm sure as the study goes on, we'll be able to really place hands on which ones we should look yeah. out for. Yeah. But I, I should say you're doing a yeoman's job. Thank you very much, because this is actually a concern of women and to have a gentleman like you being passionate about it and educating people, I'll say God bless you. God bless you. But before I let you go, I just want you to tell my viewers, especially those of us who take things for granted, what are the things that you would see that should let you know that "Mm -mm, you better go to the hospital and get checked? Okay, so like I mentioned, um, so some of the things are constitutional. So your fever, the joint pain, yeah, those are the fatigue, regular, those are regular things yeah. you do not take note of. Mm-hmm. It. So if you start developing um, swelling of your feet, okay, if you urinate and you realize that your urine is it's frothy foamy. or is foaming, you need to think twice. Okay. If you have had joint pains, you shouldn't become doctors and no. say, "Oh, I think it's a lot yeah. of sugar." You should go to the hospital okay. and be seen. All right. If you have joint pains affecting your small joints of the hands, 
and it's persistent for more than six Which weeks. Is your knuckles, your knuckles, your um, the wrist, knees, your the wrist, elbows, your... more than six weeks. Please go to the hospital and have it looked at. Okay. okay. If you are having um, skin rash, especially over the mala area, like mm -hmm. I said, sometimes it can be anywhere on the body as well. Okay. Please go to the hospital because most people tend to just go to the pharmacist. They're, oh, mm -hmm. I've got this rash. Can you give me something? And they give them medication that they apply mm -hmm. and the rash doesn't really go it's anywhere. Not yes. <laughs> so, yeah, if you have things like that, I mean, see your healthcare provider for a second opinion okay. um, and then refer you to appropriate um, people once they make the diagnosis or they think you may have. In, in case anyone wants to reach out, are there numbers that they can reach? Yeah. It, Okay. So there are numbers. Can you share the numbers? Um, I should have it here. I'll probably send it to you later. And you okay, so that we can project yes, it on the screen. Yes, but if anybody is going through something and they think, okay, all the symptoms that Dr. Teto was talking about is looking like it, when they come to Kolibu, where which department should they go so to? So the Department of Internal Medicine. Okay. Um, the rheumatology unit is on the third floor okay. of the medical block. Okay. And third floor of the medical, medical block. block. Yes. Okay. And then we run our clinics on Thursdays in the mornings okay. at the medical OPD, um, also in Kolobu Teaching Hospital. What if people cannot wait till Thursday? Can they walk in any time? So if, if you, you can you can walk in, but the thing is that we work with an appointment system. Okay. So whatever happens, you still be seen. You can be seen at the general um, um, physician specialist okay. clinics. Or you can be seen at the polyclinic and following which you are scheduled a date, but then the, the necessary treatment will be started okay. if it is indeed lupus okay. before you are seen by a rheumatologist. All right. Yeah. Okay. Because I just wanted us to establish that fact before yeah. I'll go like, oh, I have to wait till Thursday because no. that's when the clinic. No. So you can actually walk in any time and meet the doctors and they would get you the appointment to see the rheumatologist. It's that simple. So please don't sit and wait because sometimes a stitch in time saves Save life. Please. You, you women are phenomenal. We love you. You're the backbone of the family. So we pray that you be healthy all the time. So even if a single of the symptoms you're experiencing it, please just go get it checked. It wouldn't take anything from you. You wouldn't die. At least if they catch it early, your treatment can be much simpler than waiting for it to get to a stage that becomes unbearable. So Doc, before I let go of you, I have my high sense cards. Kindly pick a card, then we'll take it from there. Which, yes. Which, any of these cards? I'm generous, yes. Pick a card. Yeah, thank you. Hand it to me. Okay. Thank you for coming. You take home a halogen of it from high sense. Thank you very much. Please tell everybody who comes to your house, no more fry. So this is yours. Thank you very much. You, you see how the chicken is looking nice in there? Very, very nice. Yeah. So that's from High Sense Tea. That's not Thank all. You. Also from Lexta Ghana, producers of Lia's products. We have, yeah, I think our halogen can go down now. <laughs> we have this right. from Lia's okay. for you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Keep being amazing. Keep being a he for she. I love it when men are concerned about women issues. And I know that whenever we call on you again, you will definitely visit us because I'm generous. You know, I'll give you gifts. <laughs> well, Dr. Tete is our guest for this week. Next week, we know that we're going to bring you a story that will help you shape your life to become a better person. I'd like to say a very big thank you to our sponsors, Hisense, Everyday Prizes for Everyday People. Yas washing powder and Yas sanitary pad, which con and Choco Flakes La Palm Royal Beach Hotel to Wazi Apartments located at Mile 7 Park. A very big thank you to Tuwazi, to ABS Luxline, GH Beauty Artistry, and of course, Hair Duties. Thank you very much. Before I let go of you, remember that every time, look out for your Malta Guinness Je Je Khan. Doctor said it. He said the vitamins, the energy, the carbohydrates is filling. So for those of you who don't like food like me, this is good enough to keep you throughout the day. But it doesn't mean don't eat. Eat. Doctor is here, so I have to give you the education well. I mean, sometimes it's too busy for me that I, sometimes I even prepare smoothies from it. Oh, yeah, I add my fruit and it's so filling. And it takes me through the day. So please go out there, grab your Malta Guinness, judge a can, and remember... Same volume, same taste, 
same price. Always still remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We'll see you next week.